Hey designers and welcome to Worth the Buck. Today I'm going to be taking a very popular Dollar Tree item, testing it out for you and letting you know if it's really worth that dollar. If you want to see what I'm testing today, just stick around. Today we're talking luminescence, you guys. That's right. Today we're going to be talking about these super adorable little wax melts from the Dollar Tree. It is the little six pack and I sure was having high hopes for these because I love a good smelling room. Who's with me? <laughs> Thumbs up if you love a good smelling room. There is just something about walking into a space that has a beautiful fragrance that just makes you feel good. I absolutely love for my home or office or any space that I'm in to have a nice fragrance. So I was very hopeful for for these, especially considering how cute they are. I mean, just take a look at that. Aren't those little leaves absolutely adorable, especially for this time of year? Yeah, and come on, ladies, you know that we all fall for super cute packaging, right? <laughs> yeah, and they have definitely done a great job on the packaging of this product. Very tempting and very alluring. This one here that I picked up is the Salted Caramel, and when you first open the package and you sniff right down inside, it does have a very nice fragrance. Very nice fragrance. So again, I was sure hoping that it was going to fill my space up with that wonderful aroma, but I got to tell you, it falls way flat. <laughs> it falls way flat. Let me show you the little warmer that I actually have been using these melts in. This is the beautiful Scentsy warmer that was sent to me by Christine. Many of you guys will remember whenever I opened that up here on camera. Absolutely love this warmer and it works beautifully well. It melted these wax melts beautifully, just fine. No problem with the melting of the, of the wax melts, but I got to tell you, there was no scent at all unless I bent over and put my nose right over the little bowl I could not smell a thing, not even standing at the edge of this counter, could not smell a thing. So very, very disappointed in that. I have to tell you, very disappointed. Let me scan across and I'm going to show you the space that usually will have the aroma of whatever wax melt that we are burning. This space right here is about 28 feet wide by about 17 and a half feet long and that's not even including the kitchen space that's also open it kind of all just flows together those of you who watch our vlogs have a have a very familiar idea of the layout of this space pretty large space i have to say so obviously it's going to have to be a wax melt that's going to have a very good throw in order to be able to detect it usually around here we are burning the Glade wax melts because these come up on couponing deals all the time, you guys. If you're here in the South near a Publix and they have their buy one, get one free deals that you can add coupons to, you can pick these up at very reasonable prices. And my all-time favorite wax melt is, of course, from Scentsy. Absolutely love the wax melts from there. And out of all the wax melts that we've tried, we've also tried Better Homes and Gardens. We've also tried some other just no-name store brands that we've brought in here trying to burn. Out of all the different wax melts that we have tried, Scentsy by far has the best fragrances and the most potent, meaning that they have the best throw of all, can fill this entire space. Everything that I just showed you, scanning that camera around, no matter where we are sitting in this space, we will smell the wax melt from Scentsy. It's just the best one. Glade is the second best one, another one that I really love to purchase. And again, sitting anywhere in this space, we can smell the Glade. It just works beautifully well. But these, <laughs> no, <laughs> I literally had to bend over at that warmer to even smell that salted caramel. So there was zero throw, none, none at all coming off of these. Let's talk about the amount of wax that you get for a minute. In the Little Luminescent six pack here, you are getting a total of 56 grams. That is two ounces that you're going to get 
of the wax. In the Glade, you're getting 88 grams or 3.1 ounces. And when you purchase the Scentsy, you're going to be getting 74 grams, which is 2.6. So as far as total amount of wax in a package, Glade beats both of those hands down. And you can definitely tell that just by opening it up. In the Glade one, you're getting eight of the little squares. You're only getting six from Dollar Tree. And over here with Scentsy, you're getting eight as well. So definitely getting more wax in these two, which yes, they do cost a little bit more, but in my opinion, it's worth paying the little bit more to get them. So be careful with that, you guys, because I know that a lot of people see a product at the Dollar Tree and they're thinking, oh, it's only a dollar. But when you compare it by ounces, and remember, that's the responsible way to shop. Dollar Tree is not always the best value, especially when you can pick these Glade ones up on deals all the time using your coupons. So uh, price point, Dollar Tree is not the best value, especially considering <laughs> you can't even smell them. Oh my goodness, no. I really did have super high hopes for these. I really, really did because they're super adorable. Of course, once they melt, they all look the same, just a bunch of melted wax, but they were super cute. The packaging definitely reels you right in, but there's no aroma. There's no throw at all. So in my opinion I definitely just don't feel those are worth that dollar you guys keep that dollar in your pocket and maybe try something else from the Dollar Tree or save it and put it towards a package of the wax melts that are going to definitely do you much better so that's just my thoughts on the little luminescence wax melts from Dollar Tree unfortunately these get a huge thumbs down I want to thank all of you so very much for watching and I want to remind you you were created for purpose so go be all you can be. I'll see you soon in the next video.